Rich Radio is 96. Seven to beat is the voice of DJ Scream Moran. We got a special guest in the we building. Do, he is sir. a certified hit maker. Yes, he goes sir. by the name of PNB Rock. Yes, Welcome sir. Here, here, Rich Welcome. Radio. What's up? What's Welcome. up? What's up, man? How you feeling? Appreciate y'all having me. No cap. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, How you feeling? I'm first, first I want to know, you you ready for that Rolling Loud this oh, weekend? Man, that's tomorrow. I'm there tomorrow. That's I'm tomorrow? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Friday. Tell everybody a little bit about how a PNB rock show goes. Like oh, what they man. can expect from that performance. Just expect high energy. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna hear a couple of songs that you probably didn't even know that was on I was on. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like damn, it's PNB, right? Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, I got a couple hits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just it's, 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 it's gonna be like a sing along. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just be ready. What inspires you to like um Make make some of the music that you do because I always like I, I feel like your name should come up more when it comes to hit makers. Like you right. got a track record in yeah. a short period of time. Talk um, a little bit about your creation think, process. Like what inspired me the most is like stuff that I see, stuff that I go through, stuff that's like going on around me. Mm-hmm. Um, personal experiences, you know what I'm saying. Um, I just talk about real life stuff. That's mm-hmm. real. Do you feel like people give you the credit that you deserve because you have done so much in such a short amount of time? I feel like a lot of people sleep, but I feel like like slowly but surely, like people starting to wake up though. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no How do you choose who you collaborate with? Because that's another thing. Like you, you've collaborated with people this coast, that coast, and just yeah. kind of everywhere. Um, I just be on. I, I just like all different type of music, and I I, I mess well with a lot of people. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. I'm one of those people who could just jump on the track with anybody for real. For real. I'm genreless. I ain't really like. I can't be in a box. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like some people might think that I got like one sound, but I got all different type of music that I put out. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what it is. And then, I mean, even though you've accomplished so much in such a short period of time, what's what's some stuff that's consistently on your brain? Like, man, I got to do this. Um, The next, I don't know, just the next step. You know what I'm saying? I'm always looking for the next the level up. You know what I'm saying? Like what's, I'm never going to be content with me right now. You know what I'm saying? Some people mm-hmm. might be like, damn, you got the number one album out right now. You you mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. But no, I'm still looking for like, all right, what's what's the, what's the next thing? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, what am I going to do to big myself up again? I got to outdo that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. true. Five years ago, did you did you envision yourself like in this position, number one album? Did you think it would take a little longer? No, I mean, five years ago, I was just like coming into it, like not knowing what to expect. You know what I'm saying? I mm. thought that everything was going to be like laid out on the table, on the platter mm. for me. You know what I'm saying? But it really, you got to put in your own work. And five years ago, I just was still on my trap star show. I wasn't really like <laughs> thinking like this far out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So what do, you, what do you think the future has for you? I mean, what do you envision like just, just this summer? This summer is going to be big. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot. Like my album is doing great. You know what I'm saying? I, it came out Friday. Um, We still waiting to see what we did like on the billboards mm. this week. But I'm I'm already knowing it's gonna be like in at least a top five, top three. But on all the other charts, I'm doing number one. I'm happy, you know what I'm saying. I can't be, I can't stress it enough, you know what I'm saying. This is mm. like I'm all, I'm in a position that I always wanted to be in. Right You're now. grateful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give it all up for PNB Rock. We love yeah. successful. All my stars are lining up right now. You know what I'm saying. It's like it's perfect timing. You, so so speaking of stars lining up, do you feel like? You did a lot of good to get to that point because sometimes people wonder why it's not adding up and they might not look yeah. inward to know that they might not have I did people right. I was one of the right. people that was like trying to figure it out. Like, damn, it's all these young niggas coming up real quick. Like, how they doing? They shooting past me. Ooh, ooh. I wasn't letting it like deter me. Though. It wasn't making me mad because mm. I know I was one of the people that came into this shit, made a whole bunch of mistakes. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, just being in bad publicity and mm. making the wrong decisions and shit like that. Like, mm. it got me in like like a put it like a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth. Even with my label, I'm um, mm. like they just thought I was coming like on some super nigga shit, but mm. I had to switch it up. So it's, it's safe to say now you feel like you're wiser and yeah, nigga mature. You know you go through some shit and then it's just like so many eye openers is like it's gonna hit you like at least eventually. Mm-hmm. Damn, I gotta grow up. You know what I'm saying? I can't keep moving around like I'm just rock from the block. No, I'm PNB rock now. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I got different shit going on. Everybody mm-hmm. banking on me. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's different now. That's real. What's it like for you when you go back home? Um, I live in LA now. I just moved in February. Um, okay. But shit, it's love. You know what I'm saying? When I go back to the city, it's love. Yeah. I be low, but, you know, that's just because, like, I ain't, you, I love all the fan interaction, but you don't want to just do that every second. want to live your I'm life. I'm not going to be able to be, like, moving around freely. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You ain't going to be like that, like how I am in L.A. Right. Like, well, they used to that shit. Mm-hmm. That's real. Do, do you people- feel like you've made your place in Philly? Yeah, I mean, I literally just left. I was there. No, no, I mean, like, as, no, I mean, like, as far as, like, like. The type of music that you're bringing because you oh, know yeah. philly is known for either you just this soulful singer or you a street rapper and Super i feel like rap. you're like in the middle of that yeah like I, when i came home everybody was something like meek mills and shit like that and just on some super hardcore rap shit but i feel like i just i just i i'm one of the niggas like that switched the whole sound and like made people be comfortable with even putting melodies on the song you know what i'm saying and mm. 
trying different shit, you feel me? Because I came out from the back, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. singing. And mm -hmm. it was wavy. It was for the bitches. It was for the streets. It was some shit that people could relate to. So it wasn't too out of ordinary, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I was fucking with it. And I'm one of them people that help people branch off and start doing other shit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to cap. Me, niggas like Fetty Wap, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. we was like the only niggas like doing that. A little bit of trap, but me, I'm keeping it super trap. But now... I'm on some pop star shit now. How do you feel? And we know it's all love, but how do you feel when you like hear a younger artist that really like mimic sound just you, like, like me? Sound just like yeah, you. I, don't, I don't be tripping. I really don't be tripping. At first, it was used to get to me like, damn, these niggas trying to steal my wave. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But it's like it happened so much. It's like, damn, like I'm really a wave creator. Like I'm the creator of this wave that niggas is trying to like run off with. Hey, I started get, I started being like happy. You know what I'm saying? These are my little kids. You know what I'm saying? Running around like mm. these are my these are my offspring. You feel me? Like not even like on no bragging shit, but like I feel like being the nigga that's like, yo, I look up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like I got you. You inspire me in my sound. Mm. At first, I ain't know how to look at, it, but now I'm looking at it like, yeah, I feel like a, that's a great thing. I'm an OG in this shit. Like in certain ways, like when niggas. Like all these 15, 16 year olds, 17 year old people mm -hmm. that's coming up that's getting a million, two million dollar deals. They telling me like, bro, like you was one of the niggas that like, I listened to your shit and I wanted to make music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that'd be, that'd be feeling good, bro. That's what's up. Hell yeah. That's what it is, man. You got a song called I Like Girls. I Like Girls. <laughs> yeah, no, but bro, who talk, don't? Yeah, talk to us about it. Well, first, <laughs> first off, before we get into that, talk yeah. to us about what kind of girls you like. Uh, man, I don't, I'm like Sway Lee, you know, I ain't got no type. You know no type, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> except for I, I do got a type. I don't like like um, extra bitches. I like chill bitches. You know what I'm saying? I like I like I ain't gonna say bitches neither because I'm a, I, I like all type of females. Mm -hmm. Like that. Um, no race preference, no height preference, none of that. I just like pretty girls that's chilling. Like mm. turn up when it's turn up time, but like you know I don't like mm -hmm. all the extra. What's what's like a pet peeve or turn off or something that's like uh, canceled? Like. Like talking about somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you around me, I don't want to hear about another rapper or uh, mm. another athlete. I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Like we mm. talking about us. Like I ain't with all the. That ain't my business. You mm. feel me? Like, right. Unless it's like we personal with this shit. Like you know, mm. damn, I want to know everything. You know what I'm right. saying? Who, what, huh? Right, right, right. But mm. other than that, like I'm, I'm cool. Like I ain't Just with all the extra shit. Yeah. Right. How crazy are your DMs? I can show you some crazy shit. Oh, so, uh, what's that? Here Come we are. On, <laughs> We're going crazy, straight bro. to like, it. Real shit. Like, my DMs is like the rap, average rapper DMs. You got a thousand niggas in there like, yo, like I do dope art. Oh, um, the art people. Can got, we kill the art people? Yes, I don't need no artwork, bro. I don't need no artwork, <laughs> damn it. No we artwork. all getting that. If you got oh a blue check, not a, whatever. It's too much art. You got the niggas in there talking about, uh, man, I'm a 16-year-old artist coming from uh, Canada. I'm hot. Then you got a whole bunch of bitches just busting it. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Just ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. especially when I drop, I like girls recently, bro. I just get all twerking videos now on my shit. Like, Do they like scope you and bouncy, biggity, bouncy. follow your cities? Like, <laughs> I know you're going to be <laughs> no, here tomorrow. Real shit. Like, real I shit. But work. I don't be in like the 99 plus like that. Like, right. I be in my regular DMs. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> right. I might, oh, wow. sometimes <laughs> I might be, uh, yeah. you might catch me out there, you know what I'm saying? Trying to see what's up with the 99 plus. But I already know what's going on in there. Like, yeah. Whole bunch of fuckery, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. What type of other stuff you into? I feel like there's a hobby you had last time you were here that you told us about. Uh, something uh, kind of unexpected. Yeah. I don't know if it's a video game or something. I don't know. I don't really got that many hobbies other than, <laughs> other than music. Like I, I really, I got my business ventures. Other than that, I'm just strictly okay. music. What business man. ventures? Talk to us. Okay. Um, at first I had a burger shop, like a burger, like a regular burger spot, mm. like sell burgers, fries, milkshakes, shit mm -hmm. like that. But mm -hmm. you know, when you in the hood, niggas be hating and shit like that. Somebody came to some real shit, shot my shit up. Oh, wow. But they ain't stop me though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I said, no, I'm gonna boss up, get another joint. I got another joint, but this one, I got a liquor license with this one. Now I got a okay. bar, club. You know what I'm saying? And that shit booming with the food too. So okay. once that shit took off, I got another one in a different part of the city, West Philly. Did the same thing over there at West Philly. We still got them. And now I just opened up another club called Teasers. It's a strip club. Nice, wow, congratulations. man. Congratulations. Nice, oh, man. Yeah. How important is that to diversify and not just do one thing? Because a lot know, of artists, like if, it, if the music stopped, that was, that, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I mean, like once you, I feel like me personally, music is like a, a door opener. You get to, get the bag real quick and then you start trying to figure it out. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like this mm -hmm. shit ain't going to last forever. Like I know that. Right. And I'm one of them niggas that's trying to get the bag, all type of bags, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. whether it's music, you know, whether it's fucking doing some club shit, whether it's doing some motherfucking construction shit, I'm with everything, you know what I'm saying? I just was talking to somebody that did my hair. I'm trying to open up a fucking hair braid mm -hmm. shop now. I ain't never even think about it. Mm -hmm. But shit, it's money to be made, bro. Like, we gonna get that shit. 
Yeah. Is there anything else outside of music in the entertainment industry that you want to touch? Like maybe movies. Yeah, hell yeah, movies, of course. Like TV shit, whatever. Like not no reality TV shit. Like, but like real not. TV shit, like series. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga mm-hmm. got real shit going on in his brain that could be funny, mm-hmm. uh, serious. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I could, I do whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm with it. Mm-hmm. Make your own cartoon. Hell yeah, bro. What? Mm-hmm. That'd be the big. Okay. Give me all these million dollars. Long Hey, man. I feel like we're going to see P&B on that Forbes list soon, hey, man. Hey, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. No, for real. Yeah, you, yeah. I'm going to be going to remember this day. Okay. Yeah, no yeah. doubt, man. What's the most powerful phone call you've gotten? Like a phone call that you picked up or FaceTime or something maybe for somebody in the industry that, that was It was, was a powerful. phone call that I just recently got that was random and shit. I was with Meek. This nigga, you know how you just chilling and shit. Mm-hmm. You randomly with somebody, you know when you got your rapper friends around, mm. they might have a niece or somebody that want to talk mm. to you and shit. Mm. So I'm thinking it was one of them bobs. He gave me the phone like, yo, somebody want to talk to you. I'm like, yeah, I get on the phone, nigga, it's Big Meech. I'm like, oh, oh wow. shit, what the fuck? Oh, wow. I said, yeah, it was some regular <laughs> shit. And I gave the phone, I'm like, oh, let me see that. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? That's the call of calls. Yeah. Like, oh, that was some shit. And he said some real shit. He said, real niggas fucking with you in the jails, little homie. Like, keep wow. doing your shit. I'm like, oh, for real? Real? Yeah. He like, no, nah, for real. I'm like, damn, respect. I fuck with that. Was just a random man. Like, Very. damn, this nigga just put me on the FaceTime with Big Meeks. You're yeah, like, yeah. Meek be on some shit. Shout out to Meek. Yeah, mm-hmm. big shout out to Meek. Yeah. Man, we appreciate you coming back to Hood Rich oh, Radio, man. man. You, you know, know we, we always bring it right back you, to where we started. Mm-hmm. Yes, for sure, man. Yeah. Introduce your new smash single right now. Let everybody know where they can get that new project. Hey, you already know it's your boy PNB Rock. We about to get into my hit single, I Like Girls, featuring Lil Skies. You know what I'm saying? And the number one album right now on all platforms, all streaming services, Trap Star Turn Pop Star. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Right. Here it is. Yeah. It's 96.7 to be. Salute. Yeah.